Hello guys, Dragon 7 Studios. Today we're back with another figure review. Today is the Spider-Man from, from Future Foundation Stealth Suit or something weird. I don't, don't really know what this is from. A comic on that. It looks cool. However, this for me is a mixer between Anti-Venom and Normal Venom Spider-Man symbiote suit. Because not only does he have this symbol, he looks pretty cool. I'll get on that in a minute. There are a couple of problems, and a couple of it is with the box and what it does with the figure. I'll get on to that in the end. Uh, let's look at the new packaging first. This comes with the new Marvel Legends packaging, the ones with no plastic in. I do understand why they're doing this to go plastic free. It does look really good. You see a picture of the figure. You can see the more comic book sort of version of him. You see a figure there and what he gets and what he says about the figure sort of things, sort of things. That's what it is. Sorry, I... Yeah, and then you get the figure on the side. So, yeah, the box is cool. The accessories he, he comes with is two fist hands. One there and one on the figure. And you get another spider sort of hands, you know. One there and one on the figure. And you get these two sort of things where you can hook them on the wall it's like he's swinging sort of thing which is pretty cool now i want to get to the bottom what was on about because you can't see the figure in the actual box you can't see if you're getting a good one mine has paint scups there and paint scups on the hand because when i was picking this guy from the shop i couldn't see the figure in the box that's my one issue i have at the moment with this figure is you can't really see if you're going to get a good one. So, yeah, I want them to come up with a more solution where you can still see the figure you're getting. And that because it is a bit annoying because I want to pick this one. I will look for a better one. Um, but, yeah, let's take a look at the paint up thing first. Let me get the symbol of Spider-Man because, in my opinion, I think the head is a reuse. Well, what do you guys think? I think that is. I think that's a... This one's a bit darker, but I think it's the, exactly the same head. Which, yeah. It's that same body in that. Except obviously, the white on this one's much whiter than the white on on this one. And this one's got that. But apart from that, it's all the same. I think it's all the same parts on, on that Spider-Man as well, which is quite cool. But the head's just definitely the same. The white is a, is a bit different obviously but yeah and you can swap over the hands to have this one on there if you wanted and another like spider-man grip hand just like that on there so you can have this hand on there so he's you're doing that so you can mix them and match them i have tried that uh before but let's go on to your articulation the head head goes that way you can go that way it can go all the way up look at that so he's looking like that so it could be like doing the cool spider-man crouch pose it could go all the way down his arm can go up i think there's a butterfly joint in the thing to make it like that which is cool and they've even painted the in detail which is really good i like that when they do that this guy could bend his arm all the way up like that giving you a nice yeah what's up dude sort of thing you can bend his wrist up like that which is really good he's got a bicep swivel there which again is good i love the, the sort of black things it goes there and one there sadly it's still got the black sort of um pegs in the white paint which is pretty annoying really because you know, surely you can sort of a dab of white paint on there to hide them, but there, and it goes all the way down to the hand, which is again there. If you can put a bit of white paint there, it would be again awesome, but oh well. Can't moan at them. This is there. You get a nice ab crunch, you can go like that and then go all the way back. You get a nice hula hoop sort of thing. His leg can go all the way up like that, a cool sort of does in the side kick. You could put it all the way up so you can do like the cool big boot, the big boot. And then obviously you can do the Power Ranger jump. I are. You can go all the way back so it'd be like, like, look at that. But he's kicking his ass. You can go all the way back down like that. The shout out to the fuse. 
you can twist here, which again, I don't like that. They keep doing it. They've done it with the Ben Riley Spider-Man as well, where you twist it and the paint twist. It doesn't look that good on the shelf, sadly, but you know, you get again though, the white things that stands out, which is in, it's pretty annoying. You go all the way up in the ankles and all the way down like that, and you go left and right. Again, yeah, he's pretty good. Really, really good. I think he's really good for Spider Man. I don't really know. Let me stand him there again. Let me compare him to the symbiote Spider Man. This guy can stand up. This guy's pretty old now. This is his second release. We stand him up like that. That's what they look like. And let me have a look. Let me, let me bring something different in. Let me get a Marvel Select Anti Venom. As you can see, look at that. Look at the difference between the Anti Venom and Spider Man, which looks pretty good. This for me is one of the best Venom figures they've done. But as you can see, this is what I mean. He's the mixer between both of them. So instead of calling this stealth suit, why don't you call it symbio combined suit sort of thing, like have anti venom and have venom. This would be so much better if they did that. But obviously they didn't, but as you can see, that's what they, it looks like when you're standing next to all three of them. So it does look pretty epic. If do I say pick this guy up, yeah. Obviously sadly I can't really tell you much more. I don't know where, where he's from. I just seen him online and thought he looked absolutely cool, awesome. Um, yeah, the Spider-Man fan definitely pick this guy up. If you want Marvel Legend and you got this guy and you got a anti venom, you still need this guy because he just fits between these two perfectly. You can use him as like a bad guy or you a good guy sort of thing, so yeah. Um Yeah, if you want a thing, like the video. Subscribe, tell me what's your favourite Spider-Man at the bottom, which is your favourite version of Spider-Man, and what do you reckon about this figure? If anyone knows anything more about this guy, leave it in the comments below, let me know, because I really want to know where he's from, it's really cool. In the meantime, like the video, and I shall catch you next time. Stay safe out there guys, still collect your favourite figures, and I again to see you soon. Dragon7 signing out, I'm Venom. Oh, <laughs>